I'm Mrs. Brown, and this is my daughter's story. Mrs. Brown, you've got a lovely daughter. I am Mrs. Brown's daughter, Donna. The youngest child of Jim and Betty Brown. I had a wonderful childhood and teenage years, and then fell in love in college, and an exciting life for one became a fruitful, fulfilling life for two, and for the two sons who completed the family. Makes the bloke feel so proud. And this was my life until my middle 30s. My life with Parkinson's disease actually began while watching this video footage. I joined my young son jumping on bubble wrap. Look how I held my left arm close against my body. I could see that I definitely had a problem. The neurologist told my husband and I. He told us point blank, um, Donna, you have Parkinson's disease. I didn't know enough about it to be scared. Really didn't know what that meant. He said, read all you can, know all you can about your disease. But don't be scared by it, because they don't include the people who do well. They, the stories are always about the people who have the worst case. Who knows why it is things happen like this? Who knows the mystery? PD affects both the mind and the body, and those of family and friends, too. I just wanted to be Brad and Spencer's mom, but I soon became a woman with Parkinson's disease. I struggled to remain the same me, but I couldn't. My entire life, she's never let Parkinson's impact her in any way or inhibit what she can do, which I've always admired. It made the family closer. We never looked at her differently. It just made us more conscious and aware of everything that was going on with her. We dealt with it. We dealt with it as a family. They never knew a different Donna than they knew with Parkinson's disease. Maybe I love you so. I was taking a total of 26 various PD pills per day in six daily doses, and they weren't doing the job. My illness had progressed to the point that it was time to make a scary decision, a surgical decision that could help my quality of life. The surgery is called DBS, Deep Brain Stimulation, a high-tech surgery wherein electrodes are implanted in the brain to offset the debilitating effects of Parkinson's disease. Dr. Kumar told her, look, if you were my sister, I would recommend that you have DBS. And that was kind of the aha moment for us. I wanted help. I wanted to be me again. I was scared, honestly. So I was nervous about it. But I knew the results could be so awesome. And I just kept focusing on that. Through DBS, we have a new life, a new and exciting life, um, with many opportunities to do things that we have not been able to do in the past. It brings a certain amount of joy to my heart every time I see her do something as simple as writing. It's just unbelievable. Just small, minuscule tasks that other people don't really think about she could do uh, with ease after not even being able to do them for so long. Trust medical technology. Support medical technology. Encourage people with Parkinson's to pursue those parts of medical advancement that could make their life better. I've seen firsthand the results of biomedical engineering and basically just the medical field in general and I'd love to be a part of that especially if I could help my mother just keep giving your heart and then what goes around comes back again keep a positive outlook know that there are brilliant people across the world who are addressing this disease and you never know what the next revelation is going to be I have Parkinson's disease it doesn't have me Let's put our brains together and support brain research. Mm -hmm.